Y'all ready? One, two, three, and coming together in love we rise. Building community online. Sharing our hearts feels mighty fine. Making each day better, each day better, each day better. One song at a time at Daily Antidote of Song. Ta da! <laughs> that was the note of life. That was the note of life. Great day. Oh boy, I can't do this right now. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever we happen to be in the world today. Hello, hello. Happy to be here with everyone. Happy journey to us all. I'm Arne. I'm your host for this Saturday edition of Daily Antidote of Song. It's a special day for Daily Antidote of Song. Actually, every day is a special day because Carpe Diem Arts brings this to you every single day. We need hands up. And step side, hands up, and then side, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, and then just wave to everybody in Facebook Live. And uh, is it possible that there might be YouTube Live going on? Is that possible? Possible? Let's just say, what's up to the YouTube people? We'll do like this. Uh uh uh, do the Beyonce. Uh 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 uh. Okay, <laughs> it is Saturday, April first. Uh, wow. What a great day to be here. I want to say hello to everyone in the room, starting with our wonderful Jojo Rossi, creator of this series. So excited. Thank you so much, Jojo, for all of your dedication, just keeping this happening, keeping it happening. We're so grateful and we're all here together. We got Baba James Harkless in the room today. We've got Ted Pappas here, Terry Shaw's here, Jim in New York City's here, Susan G in Cincinnati, Susan G in Cincinnati. You see what I did there? Okay, Dan Walker in Vienna is here, Kathleen in Albuquerque's here, Arlene, hey, in Berkeley is here with a fur baby. We've got Kevin in the Magic Flute in DC in the room, Sheila Ginsburg is here, Dory and Ollie have made appearance hello 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 phil pauline and william are all here from oh yes our uk friends we got bonnie and boise he's here with us amanda and but miles is here carolyn and rainy boise day 1090 thank you for that uh luda with so much love in Victoria, BC, Deborah in Kentucky. Mary is here. Thibodeau, that's one of my favorite names. I have a friend with that last name. You might be kin, who knows? And Tonina is here. Greetings, greetings. Kathy is here. Hello, Kathy. And Chico. Oh, woo, woo, woo. I love that. Hey, Chico. We've got Anne in Silver Spring. We've got, it's a hold up. Is that an Irish cow or a banana cow? I'm not sure. We're going to have to come back to that one. Brahman from Victoria, B.C. is here. Hello. Anne in Nashville. Susan in Seattle. Becky is here. Hey, Deli. Good to see you. Trish from Victoria is here. Storm. I love the chapeau, Storm. Thank you for being here. We've got Ben. Hello, hello. Bob is here with a nice sweater on. Hoda from British Columbia is here. Thank you, thank you. Annette in California. Hey, with the sky blue glasses. I got new glasses, too. Okay. Linda from Orcas Island is here here everybody with the glasses flex up flex up flex up okay mabel and a beer yay and i see bob in the background greetings greetings we've got jenny in suffolk uk hello gary hello to you good to see you uh oh, oh moving fast hey, we got one curly top two curly tops flex the glasses flex the glasses flex them i like it we got marty here from gloucester greetings kate in charlottesville kathy uh, i love the orange in virginia lisa is here 
Greetings to you. Tom Robertson is here. Greetings, sir. Uh, let's see. And then we've got um, Cricket. There's Laura. There's Karen in Oregon. Someone on an iPhone. Sandy E. in Windy, North Carolina. Penny and Ralph in Victoria. Amos is here. LMG is here. Ray is here. Everybody who needs to be here at this moment is here. All right. Let's take a deep breath. Hmm. We got a special deity for you today. I'm happy to bring to the Daily Antidote of Stage. The Daily Antidote of Stage, the Daily Antidote of Song Stage. Sarah, please come and save me. Sarah Pirtle is here. Save me from myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hold up the picture of the woman in the first song, Matilda Jocelyn Gage. So we're going to 1852. And I think you'll see why I'm so excited to introduce you to Matilda. What's going to happen is we'll have a refrain after every verse that's the words of Gloria Steinem. And she sang to her, you were the woman, I'll sing it, you were the woman who was ahead of the women who were ahead of their time. And then the chorus just really talks about just my longing to have you know about her. Now, I should go back to that refrain comes after every verse, but after the third verse, I'm going to throw in words from the campaign of Shirley Chisholm, a real important woman. And she called herself unbought, and we'll put those words in unbossed. Those will go in there too. So here's what the chorus sounds like. I just want to shine your light. I just want to say your name. I just want to bring you back so people hear your voice again. I hear you shouting at the edge of the world, and I want you heard. Would you try that with me? I just want to shine your light. I just want to shine your light. I just want to say your name. I want to bring you back. I just want to bring you back so people Hear your voice again. I hear you shouting at the edge of the world. And I want you heard. We're going to um, go right into the verses. We can picture Matilda. Matilda Jocelyn Gage, stepping up to the stage. Your eyes were clear and fixed. You were just 26. National Women's Rights Convention. Youngest speaker, strong intention. You dared and you ducked the hate. Your writing spread, women, church, and state. Here comes our refrain. You were the woman who was ahead of the women who were ahead of their time. Let's sing that one again. You were the woman who was ahead of the women who were ahead of their time. Wait till you hear about this thing in history. You organized a demonstration at a well-known location. The Statue of Liberty, the greatest hypocrisy when the statue was first unveiled. Your chartered boat set sail, ready to crash the procession, and your banner spoke this lesson. It's an outrage for a woman to stand for liberty. It's the sarcasm of the century when not one real woman in the length of this land, can protect herself, own property, hold justice in her hand. You were the woman who was ahead of the women who were ahead of their time. Here's our chorus. I'm going to take it up a little. I just want to shine your light. I just want to say your name. I just want to bring you back so people hear your voice again. I hear you shouting at the edge 
of the world, and I want you heard. You said the vote is not enough. Forces countered loud and tough. You said we need full women's rights to our bodies and our life. You held up a mirror to women's oppression, called out the church on its own suppression, unbossed, unbought, and unrefined. You were the woman who was ahead of her time. Today I wear a mask. It's not made of cloth. It's made of the lies I bought. I want to take it off. Women are still unsafe. Women's rights still can break. We stand together in this line with the women who are head of their time. Let's sing the chorus with we. We just want to shine your light. We just want to shine your light. We just want to say your name. We just want to bring you back so people hear your voice again. I hear you shouting at the edge of the world, and I want you heard. You stood strong for Native rights. Native women were the first to shine this light. Mohawk sisters saw you true. They gave a name to you, your name, she who holds the sky, your name like a battle cry, holding us through battles yet to come. You were the woman who was ahead of the women who were ahead of their time. Last chorus. It's going to have a little extra in it you'll see in those words. I'll take it up. I just want to shine your light. I just want to say your name. I just want to bring you back so people hear your voice again. I want to have you recognized. I want to look you in the eyes. We hear you shouting at the edge of the world, and you are heard. You are heard. I hear you shouting at the edge of the world, and you are heard. Matilda Jocelyn Gage presented. Wow, I wanna know more, more, more about her. Oh, wow, Sarah, let's give it up for Sarah. Incredible, incredible. Wow, what a brilliant way to extend Women's History Month into Daily Antidote of Song. Um, so many things, uh, but there's a second song, is that correct? Yeah, instead of repeating this song, as usually is done, we've got a song that's gonna give people a chance if they, if you brought a women's heritage item of any of any kind, you'll, you'll be able in a moment to hold it up. Oh, so there's audience participation with this. It is, because it's Daily Antidote. <laughs> I love this. We expanding onto to YouTube, and we've got 3D audience. In, okay, can I reach in? Oh, I just oh, can I just hug somebody? I just I'll just hug me for now. Okay, Sarah, take it away. <laughs> Save me from myself. Well, this is the book, and and we're going to put the link in the chat. This is why I started writing this song. Sally Roach Wagner, who is one of the foremost people early on in women's history. She purchased the home in Fayetteville, New York, of uh, Matilda Jocelyn Gage, because for a number of reasons, and one was she was so strong against racism. She was really speaking out about lynching. Susan B. Anthony was not. They had yeah. a split. And so she got lost in history and sally made sure no we want you out there so there'll be a, also a, a link about this foundation in fayetteville if you're in that area of new york state you can visit and learn so much about her in fact and then let me read one thing from their website i think y'all are going to love this please, um, please. here's a woman who 100 years ago spoke out against the sexual abuse of women and children by priests she exposed 
amazing. She exposed sex trafficking 100 years ago. She faced thousands of dollars in fines and six months in jail when she's pregnant with her third child because it was crucial for her to open her home to seekers of freedom, people escaping enslavement. She saw indigenous societies as far superior to, her, to European American. She recognized Native nation sovereignty. The Wolf Clan adopted her. So that's part of the Haudenosaunee. So I love her name that she was given. She who holds the sky. Uh, I just adore her. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm getting ready to post the link for the National Park Service uh, Park in Her Honor in Fayetteville, New York. Uh, this is important work. We appreciate this. Ooh, how did you find out about her? Uh, I just, it, it's just ever since I was a girl, ever since I was 12, I had this feeling that we're part of a long line and that it's really crucial to bring in heritage. And in fact, I want to turn to, to Jo. She, um, she has this, a cartoon for us that's going to tie this all together. Hey. So I'll just tell you guys about this really quickly. This is from April Fool's Day of 1920. And um, it's regarding the uh, suffrage and the states that were voting um, for it. And then states that uh, right around this time uh, retracted their vote. So the cartoon is um, indicating like you thought you had women's rights. April Fool's, you don't have them anymore. And so this is why we are today extending our, our uh, women's history discussions onto April Fool's Day. I think this is one of the better ways to think about women's, uh, think about April Fool's Day rather than actually playing tricks on each other. So uh, thanks everybody for paying attention to it. I love this, I love this. So she's lost in history. How did you find her, Sarah? Was it through Gloria Steinem? Well. The area where I live, I live across from the Pocumpetuck River, which has been in settler times called the Deerfield. But it's really important for me to think about Native women. So Jennifer Lee, who's Narragansett, um, Masha Leesk was the name of the, the woman. Every day I call to her and I say, you are my leader. Mm. And so when I knew that there was a book that, that said, you know what, it was the Native women who inspired the, the best known European American women. But that's what's so incredible about this, that really the vision that women could have rights came from native women who are part of the Haudenosaunee. So wow. that, going with it. But what I think will be exciting now, here's where people are gonna get to hold up their women's heritage item, if you brought one, and don't worry if you didn't. And so here's what's yet to come. I'm going to teach you a pattern. Then we're going to honor three people who are who know this is happening to them. So Phil, Jim, and Hoda will we'll spotlight them, and I'll use them in a verse, and then we'll end. So I have a, a, a feminist, I have a girls' camp. It's been going almost 30 years, and I bring rocks I've made especially with a uh, history of BIPOC women. And um, so I should, I guess I should say at this time, so I wrote a book called An Outbreak of Peace because when I was in high school, I read Siddhartha and I said, someday I want there to be a book about a, a girl's spiritual journey. So this is it, An Outbreak of Peace. And the other thing is that the 2016 election, I took songs, 75 songs from my, nine recordings and put them free on the web and you, this song is there but let's go to let's go to everybody so okay how about if i show you how the pattern goes i'll teach you the chorus it goes like this i wanna know your name i wanna know your name we are links on the chain I want to know your name. So I'm going to sing about a person dear to everyone in Western Mass. This is Wally and Juanita Nelson. Uh, so will you please echo me back so we get this pattern going. Juanita Nelson, and you echo back. Juanita Nelson. Arne, would you echo me back? I sure will. I'll be happy to. Cool. Lifelong activist and farmer. 
lifelong activist and farmer. When you were 16 in 1939. When you were 16 in 1939. That in every white train car. That in every white train car. That was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. I'll join in the refrain. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. Sing it over. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. We are links on the chain. I want to know your name. Now we're going to spotlight. Um, I don't know if Jim is here. but Bob we, James is here. He, oh, Jim, would you say the name of your, your sister? Because we're going to sing about her. Is, 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 would it be right to say Nisia? Nisia Desiree Harkness. Okay, we get to sing about her, which is so awesome, in the long line, presente. So, echo me back. Dr. Nisia Desiree Harkless. Dr. Nisia Desiree Harkless. You are Jim's oldest sister. You are Jim's oldest sister. Early childhood doctorate. Early childhood doctorate. I'm starting to cry. <laughs> College teacher. College teacher. Recognized as a Renaissance woman. Recognized as a Renaissance woman. Georgetown, Georgetown gave you an honorary doctorate. Georgetown College gave you an honorary doctorate. Your book spotlighted Nubian rule in Egypt. Your book started like Nubian rule in Egypt. And we all go just to kind of like hug both Jim and Nisia. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And so beautiful to see her face. Oh, my gosh. Just because we're kind of, our time is, we're going to go right to Hoda. Hi, Hoda. Hoda, we, um, oh, old friend, Hoda. Now, we're going to meet someone through Hoda, and her picture is right behind. This is Swami Radha. And um, Hoda, you, you could echo or Arne could echo? Which, which is more comfortable? Which is your vote? Let's let Hoda do it. Let's let Hoda do it. Okay. Oh, Swami, okay. okay. Um, thank you for sending things to me about her. Swami Radha. Swami Radha. You are Hoda's spiritual teacher. You are Hoda's spiritual teacher. Revealing the sacred in everything. Revealing the sacred in everything. Born in Germany, came to Canada. Born to in Germany and came to Canada. Socially engaged spiritual practice. Socially engaged spiritual practice. Hoda keeps learning from you daily. I keep learning from you daily. And now we hug with this refrain. I want to know your name. I want to know, know your name. Oh, Hoda, thank you for bringing yourself and her to us. So exciting. And Yes. Uh, Phil, are you here today? We would go right to you. Um, oh, great. That's so great. So you sent Laura Nero. And so, oh, young. Oh, and you said you brought her book that's just come out, that just came arrived to you in Newcastle. Okay. 
Here's the honoring for her. Echo us back. Laura Nero. Laura Nero. You are Phil's courage teacher. You are my courage teacher. You kept true to yourself and your muse. You kept true to yourself and your muse. You weren't ruled by the male-dominated music industry. You weren't ruled by the male-dominated music industry. And you said many things, so here's four. Your music is freeing, poetic, smart, and funny. Your music is freeing, poetic, smart, and funny. Your music puts a spring in our step. Your music puts a spring in our step. I want to know your name. I, I want, want to know, know your, your name. name. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Phil. Mm -hmm. well, we'll end with this chorus. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. We are links on the chain. I want to know your name. These are part of the heritage stones I've made. I'll do just um, two for each person. Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells. She's someone who's inspired me my whole life. You campaigned against lynching. You campaigned against lynching. You co-founded the NAACP. You co-founded the NAACP. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. Marion Wright Edelman. Marion Wright Edelman. Started the Children's Defense Fund. Started the Children's Defense Fund. Stop the cradle to prison pipeline. Stop the cradle to prison pipeline. I want to know your name. Ooh, I want to know your name. Audrey Shenandoah. Audrey Shenandoah. Mondaga clan leader. Mondaga clan leader. International advisor to the United Nations. International advisor to the United Nations. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. So now we feel the long line and we honor what everyone has brought. We honor each other and the sense of the strength that comes together in song. I want to know your name. I want to know your name. We are links on the chain. I want to know your name. Sarah, what you've brought here, such a gift to us all, such a gift. Uh, there's no applause, there's no words. Let's just, let's just feel this. Let's just feel this. Oh, my stars, Dr. Nisia Desiree Harkless, Swami Radha, Lara Nero. Oh, my goodness. Mary Wright Edelman, Ida B. Wells, and all of the women in our lives. I love how we're honoring them. Yes. Let's take a moment and just honor. Let's take a moment and honor. Sarah, we're so grateful to you. So grateful so grateful we need a we need an hour on this song next time we do this everybody's going to have something in the room we'll all be prepared and um we'll make this a sacred ritual it's so beautiful sarah purtle everyone please show your love show your respect who sarah thank you so much thank you so much for this thank you so much and i love this is a, a way to bring in april one I like this way. Jojo, thank you for that. Mm, okay, we're going to uh, have to wrap this up really shortly. Um, Sarah, thank you again. We've got links uh, for your book, the Outbreak of Peace book. 
Um, we've got links for your song. We're so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for bringing us all together in this important way. And then letting us hear the voices of Hoda from British Columbia. We got to hear Baba James Harkless. Wow, we got to hear Phil and see Phil with his family. Um, so great. We thank you for that. Uh, thank you all for being here. Ted, thank you for being him. Jim in New York City. What a great day to be here, right? Susan G in Cincinnati, Ohio. Thank you for your presence. Kathleen in Albuquerque, we appreciate you. Arlene in Berkeley, wow. Um, Sheila and Grandma, yes, yes. Thank you for that. We've got Dory and Ollie with crazy headgear. I love it. <laughs> Phil, Pauline, oh, William coming in from Totnes. Thank you for that. Thank you. Amanda and Miles in Michigan. Thank you. Luda and Mark in Victoria. Appreciate you. Deborah in Kentucky. What a day, right? Antonina in Santa Cruz. Thank you. Thank you. Anne in Silver Spring. Thank you. We've got the banana Irish cow here. <laughs> Um, and in Nashville, we appreciate you and what you're bringing, what everyone is bringing to this room today. Susan in Seattle, thank you, thank you. Becky, thank you. Deli, yes. Trish in Victoria, yes. Storm, wow. What a day, Storm, right? Bob, we appreciate you. Annette in California, thank you so much. Linda Orcas Island, thank you, thank you. We've got Mabel, Bob, and Bears. Oh, yes, I'm loving, yes, I'm loving the hat. I'm loving it, Mabel. You got it. Kate in Charlottesville. Thank you. Thank you. Kathy in Virginia. Oh, wow. What a lovely tribute. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy in Vermont. Appreciate you so much. Hey, Jamie in Victoria. We'll see you next time. Diane in Puerto Rico. Thank you for being here. Jenny in Suffolk, UK. Appreciate you. Kat in Vermont. Carolyn in Rainy Boise. Love the tribute. Love how we're all just coming together in such a sacred way. Cricket. Uh, I see you holding on. We're all holding on. We're all holding on. Thank you, Amos. What an incredible day to be here. Hey, Kevin in D.C. I know you were there with us the whole time. Bonnie and Boise. Yes, I see. Oh, my goodness. Wow, thank you. Hi, Dan in Vienna. We'll see you next time. Curly Tops and Grandma. Oh, wow. Three Curly Tops. I love it. In the room today. Representing. I appreciate it. Hi, Mary. Thank you for being here. Lynn and Grandma Sid. Wow. Okay. Marty in Gloucester. Thank you for being here, sir. Tom. Thank you for your presence. Gary and Christy. Appreciate you both. Kathy and Chico. Woo. Tusi in Massachusetts. Sandy Moore. Laura, Karen in Oregon, Cy the singer, Penny and Ralph in Victoria, Ray, Margaret, Maureen, Fred in Silver Spring, Carol in Connecticut. We thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Let's give a big hand to JoJo. I'm going to go off camera and cry. You know, it's just going to happen. JoJo, I don't know why do? bother. Why not just cry on camera like I just did the whole time? <laughs> what, what are we hiding here? Okay, oh. that was tremendously beautiful. Sarah, thank you again. Our thank you. Yep. Okay. Jojo, I know you got to go. Yep. Yep. I'm actually going to stay long enough to do screenshots of everybody. So uh, we welcome everybody who's out there on the streaming, uh, live streaming to jump on in the room and get your photo taken with your abs.